<laughs> it's done. You don't know how long this took me. Anyway, this is my Interceptor costume. The Interceptor from Anthem. Anthem isn't a popular game, but you know what? I adore it. I love it to heart. I think it's a great game. You should definitely play it. It's worth it. Trust me, especially if you're into like... I don't even know. Just go play it. It's so fun. I, I, it's, it's so fun. Hashtag not spot on. I'm addicted. <laughs> but anyway, this is my Interceptor from Anthem costume. Um, it is probably the best costume I've ever done, ever. Uh, I, I love it to death because it's so awesome. So let's get into it. Uh, for I'm gonna start with the uh, undersuit right now. The undersuit is just some long johns that I had added some thigh pads to. So yeah, that's about it. You can add knee pads and stuff. I consider, I saw some people who made it made this. I don't know how you made it before the game even came out, but they just painted the thigh stuff on like the the gut plate over here, they just painted that on. I, I don't know how that uh, how that works, but okay. Um, I like the foam armor bit because it's, you know, it's, it gives it more depth and volume. So yeah, that's what I did. Uh, moving on to the, I'll just move on to the greaves. These are just, um, you put them, you slide them on your arms like that. That's all they are. Now, weathering was a big challenge with this because I wanted it not to be more of a metallic weathering. I wanted it to be more of like a dirty weathering because these guys don't get beat up a lot. They just get really, really dirty. Because this guy, especially because he's just going sicko mode and everybody. So, yeah, I just did a dark wash of gray and brown. And that's how I got my uh, weathering in. So, yeah. I also have, on top of the greaves, I have just fingerless gloves with padding on them, which is pretty cool. Alright, moving on to the torso. This is going to go time fast because I don't have a lot of time. Uh, the torso is just a, um, it's just one of my foam armor rigs that I outfitted with a new kind of chest piece. See the weathering that I did? That's all I did there. And the back is kind of interesting because it has these weird flight flaps sort of things. And a giant booster. So a giant booster is just a paint cap that I uh, destroyed during this video. I used up a paint can, that's all. And uh, the flight flaps are just EVA foam that I cut on a bevel. And I glued in there to make it sort of a, uh, I don't know, I make it angled. I can't think of the words, I just woke up and I gotta get to school in like two minutes. So yeah. So that's, the, and like I said, this is the gut plate. Some people painted that on. I like it like this. And uh, yeah, you also, I also noticed that you don't need these things to go on your arms. With just regular, the regular rigs that I do, they usually don't have a gut plate. They're just from here. They're just from here. So it's kind of like an armored crop top almost. But yeah, and then these things hold it in place. But I added a, uh, like strap on the back here for the gut plate. I'm gonna keep going to the gut plate. Don't, don't take a hold against me. And um, yeah, so I just noticed we don't need these, so I can cut these off anytime I want because they're just annoying at this point because they're all Velcro. So yeah. Alright, on to the meat and potatoes of this build. The, I wouldn't say this is the food route, but it's pretty cool. The helmet. It is one of the best helmets I've ever done. It's so great. It's, um, I think it's, what is it, the guy's name? I don't know what the guy's name is. I'll link, I'll probably link it in the description. If I don't, I'll do it later. I just, I, I got it. It was like, I don't know. I, I got this helmet template from somebody. It was a spawn helmet template that was very nice and sleek. You can use it for like Iron Man or anything. I used it to make my Doom Guy helmet. I don't have Doom Guy here. Which I'm gonna make a tutorial for that like in a bit, but you know, hold up. <laughs> I just made this thing. So yeah, and this helmet, there's, so, I can't really see with this helmet because you've got a giant faceplate in the way. In the game, you just have like a computer monitor, which isn't practical at all. And I can't put that in there because, you know, we're not a futuristic society that has computer monitors that are like, you know, uh, live feed that are like up to a millisecond. Or else I'd be bumping into things. So, I just opted for a removable faceplate. Now it's not pretty, the faceplate off, but it's functional. Um, it has magnets right here. 
which are really nice. And overall, the helmet just is very sleek. Um, like I said, I can't see the camera right here. I can right now and right here, but if I wanted to see it even more, I'd do it like this. And I did add um, kind of lines on here, so I can just, if I, my nose is in there, I can angle it like that and put it back on. The back isn't anything special either, I just, it's just the back. This thing was super weird to cut and, you know, glue, but it looks fine. I think the helmet looks really great, and it has that nice, um, kind of weathering. Like, right here, you can see, like, that's just, that's just really nice. I'll, I'll get some in-depth shots later. So, yeah. So, on to the coup de gras of everything. You'll stay. No, I'm taking it. The stilts. So, I can't really see my face with this. But these stilts are just, um, they're Skyrunner, like, Japanese stilts thing that I got off from eBay. Um, it was for 150 bucks for these, so, you know, this set me back a lot. <laughs> but, these things were, like, these are amazing. They're cool to run in and everything, but, like, I wanted to make this removable, costume removable, so I can have, you know, I can just use these for whatever. Which you totally, so I just made these greaves, which they go like this, and they go over your toe like that, and these go on the sides, and they just kind of hide your leg from everybody, which is kind of cool. I need to fix them, because they have, I had, I had some malfunctions with the foam, because it's just foam, and like when zip ties go on it, it makes holes. So yeah. But that's all these are, and these were yellow, so I just put green gaff tape all over them, and yeah. It might be a waste of gaff tape, I know, but it's the only green tape I have at the moment, and I have more. <laughs> so, right now I have more. So yeah, that is my Anthem cosplay, and then this is just the other stilt right here. These are jumpy stilts, and I did notice that coupled with the... Um, I'm wearing this to Comic-Con, coupled with the stilts, the helmet that I can barely see out of, and, uh, what do you call it, uh, just the close quarters of Comic-Con, I made a staff right here, it's not anything pretty, I'll probably get it out in a sec, but, you know, it's, it's good, it's just a six foot long PVC pipe with a door stopper on the foot of it, I'm probably gonna mess up my autofocus. And like it's, it's it's got a camera mount on the top, so I can hopefully record some video with Comic Con. But yeah, and I'm thinking uh, I just had this thought last night that I could make another removable faceplate, put magnets in it, so I have more, and um, kind of make it more weather, like scraped up, and have like a few holes like right here. Uh, excuse me with my eyes, you know what I mean? So yeah, that is my complete Anthem costume. I'll cut to the B-roll right now. for me if you would like and subscribe this, to this channel and like this video oh my gosh this is just the coolest costume i've ever made and it's got a lot of tips a lot of more a lot more stuff and I, I want you to comment in the comments below please tell me what i need to do next because i i'm running out of ideas i've done everything I, i've literally done it, everything i can think of so yes please keep commenting and please uh like this video so much i love you guys please subscribe we I, I need dinner, all right? If we can get to a thousand subscribers, and I'm, that's a heavy ask, I'm at 200 right now, as of this video. <laughs> but if we can get there, I can start, you know, paying for these costumes, and I can go bigger and bigger and bigger on these costumes. Like, this is a pretty hefty costume, I gotta say, I've been saving up for a while. But, like, we can go, like, we can go, like, Colossus from Anthem. That's, that's giving me an idea. Oh, that's bad. You better get to a thousand quick. <laughs> All right. Remember to like this video. Uh, please subscribe. Please comment down below what you want to see me to do next. And remember to, if you want 
helpful kind of costume tips that aren't don't relate to an entire video, follow my Instagram at Emerald Studios YT, and I shall see you guys in the next one. Bye.